Hello, future Royals. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn more about Kent Meridian High School and how to start off successfully in your new year. My name is Mr. Bart Schaefer, and I teach freshman history classes. That's it, just freshmen. I specialize in helping students adjust to high school, and today I want to share some information that comes from teaching thousands of kids just like you and helping them have a successful first year of high school. Today's presentation is all about how to be successful in high school, but specifically, I want to talk to you about three topics. First, how is high school different from middle school? Second, what did our past ninth graders wish they had known to be more successful right from the beginning of high school? And finally, where do you go for help? Let's get started. High school is awesome. You finally made it. You're no longer a kid. People are starting to call you a young adult and giving you more independence and freedom. Independence to make your own decisions, to choose your own path, to be as successful as you want to be. That's great, but it's also dangerous because along with the ability to make choices comes the second difference, the ability to fail. In high school, your teachers, your parents, and school staff are still there to help you. We want to provide as much support as we can, but let's be honest. Only you can decide if you're going to take that ball and run with it. We adults can beg you. We can threaten you with consequences. But in the end, you have to choose to be successful. Many of you come from middle schools where no matter what your grade was at the end of the year, you got to move on to the next grade. But in high school, it doesn't work that way. Your teachers will have to fail you if you don't earn a passing grade. And that could mean that you have to recover credits to graduate on time. If you don't pass all of your classes, you don't move on to the next grade. More on that later, but the point is this, you can fail in high school. So that independence can lead to some trouble. Number three, taking responsibility. Uh, that means that you must take responsibility. If, if you have the opportunity to fail, you've got to be responsible to make sure you're making good choices, right? That means being responsible and doing it right the first time, but it also means taking responsibility when you mess up. Look, we know you're new to this. You're young. You're going to mess up. You're going to need help, but it's your responsibility to ask for that help in high school. Next. High school means lots of options and freedom. We have tons of choices when it comes to the classes you take, the clubs and sports that you can join. Look, there are almost 2,000 kids at KM. That means there are tons of choices about who you hang out with, where you go, what you do. And that freedom to choose is just what makes high school great. We hope that you'll get involved that you'll choose to try new things, to meet new people, and to grow as a person. But remember that responsibility piece and the ability to fail. Sometimes we make poor choices, and our goal at KM is to give you a safe place to make good and bad choices and to learn from them. We'll keep giving you opportunities to be successful no matter how many times you falter. Okay. This next one's a big one. You earn credits to graduate in high school. You're gonna hear this over and over again, this term core 24, and this is huge. You only take six classes per year times four years. Six times four is 24 credit opportunities. But wait, core 24 says you must have 24 credits in order to graduate according to state law. So what does that mean? You guessed it. It means that you have to pass every single one of your classes. You don't have time during the regular school day to make up things that you failed. Instead, you'll be have to, to do recover credits in summer school uh, or take an extra seventh class or you risk not graduating on time. But don't worry about that right now. It's just important you, for you to know that in high school, every class matters. Okay, 
last big difference between middle and high school, and that's that it's big. We have a huge campus, lots of teachers and staff, and almost 2,000 students at KM. That means that it's important to start right away trying to find your place. We have lots of opportunities to get involved, to meet new people, and to experience new things, but we know that can be overwhelming for some students. So the easiest thing to do is to start small. Start talking to your teachers. They're the experts at helping you get settled in, finding you the answers you need, and even pointing you in the right direction. If you aren't comfortable with that, I have some more suggestions on who to talk to later in this session. So, with all of those differences in high school, here it comes. Schaefer's Tips for Success. I'm an expert on this, guys. Do you trust me? It's going to sound too simple. It's going to sound too good to be true, but here's the key to success at KM. Number one, show up to class. Number two, do your assignments. At least try to do them and turn them in. And number three, ask for help. That's it. It's that simple. KM has policies and amazing teachers in place that give every student a chance to succeed, but you have to do your part. You have to be there in class so we can teach you. You have to turn something in that we can help you, that we can grade and try to figure out how you need help. And when you're stuck, you have to ask for help. Okay, so maybe some old guy's advice isn't what you care about. Let's look at what last year's ninth graders say they wished they had known when they started. What are the things that would have made their year more successful? The first one that, that popped the survey was time management. This is going to be especially important this year due to distance learning. We know there are lots of distractions at home, so having a schedule and staying on track is going to be more important than ever. Don't fall behind. Stay on track. Number two, they said they wish they had better study skills. Lots of teachers say, okay, be sure to go home and study for your test tomorrow. But a lot of students don't know how to do this. Here's what I find, though. When I give a test, about half of my kids get A's and B's, and the other half get D's and F's. There's nothing in the middle. And when I ask the next day, raise your hand if you reviewed before the test. Guess which half raises their hand? You guessed it. It's the ones who study. It's the ones who come to class, who do their work, and ask for help. So if you don't know how to study, ask your teacher, ask someone at KM to help with that. Number three, they said they wish they had been more organized. You're becoming an adult now. You have to find a way to track your to-do list. You're going to have lots going on in high school. There's a ton going on. So it, it might be a planner, it might be an online calendar, or heck, just a piece of paper or an index card. Whatever it is, it's important for you to keep track and organize all of the things that you need to do. The fourth thing from the survey was they wish they knew more about their post-high school options. So students start to wonder, well, why am I doing all this work in high school? What's next? What am I going to do after high school? And what's great is KM uh, helps you to figure out that the answers to that question. It's a huge question with lots of potential answers. And over your four years at KM, we're gonna have lessons every year that help you to try to figure this out. So stay tuned on that one. Finally, this is a big one. They said they wish they had known where to get help. So here are some ideas. Let's look at that one. Ask anyone at KM. Start with your teacher. Right? Your teacher knows you best. Your teacher knows what's going on in your class. So ask them the question and see if you can get an answer from them. If you don't understand their answer, if they aren't helpful, ask a friend or a classmate. Remember, these guys are going through the same things as you are. They might be able to answer your question. Ask for extra help or tutoring options. KM has a ton of special programs and tutoring after school and different things that we can connect you with to get help, whether that's academic help, whether that's help with issues at home or outside of school, whether that's issues with friends, we've got all kinds of help. You just have to ask someone. You can email your counselor for an appointment. 
That's what they're there for is to help you be successful at KM. Talk to an administrator. Heck, guys, I've seen lunch ladies and secretaries helping kids figure out their math homework. I've seen custodians helping kids find things that they need. Everybody at KM is there to help. But there's another thing. Even though you're becoming adults, you need to be honest with your parents and ask them for help. Sometimes you will struggle to get an answer from the adults at KM, and you may need your parents to step in and to help out. They may need to send an email. They may need to call the school to help you sort out a situation, and that's okay. So, how do we deal with these issues? Here's some advice from past freshmen. They say, do not procrastinate. Don't put things off. They say, ask for help. And they say, at least try to complete your work. The number one thing that freshmen struggle with is procrastination. They put it off, then they get overwhelmed, then they end up in trouble, and then they don't ask for help. They're too embarrassed to ask for help. But you're not alone. Most freshmen struggle with these things. So if you're getting behind, ask for help. If you're feeling overwhelmed, ask for help. If you're in trouble, ask for help. Someone at KM will help you to be successful. I am so excited to meet many of you online over the next few weeks in my class and on campus someday when we're able to return. High school is one of the best times of your life. It's your time to shine, to experience new things, and to become the person that you're going to become. But with that, there's a lot of challenges, and the KM community is here to help. Make sure that you ensure your success. Show up to class, do your assignments, and ask for help. Have a great day, KM.